Welcome to another episode of BTV. Today we have with us Champions League winner, Billy Gilmore. Nice, Billy. So, Billy, to start off, we've got some quick fire questions to get you nice and warmed up. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, so, let's go. Billy, hot drink on a cold day or cold drink on a hot day? Let that sink in. Cold drink on a hot day. It's got good. to be. It's good. got to be. Good. Aliens, real or not real? Real. I'm yeah. stuck in between, but real. Yeah, real. yeah. I agree. agree. I agree. agree. Ronaldo or Messi? Ronaldo. Oh dear, what a day. Summer <laughs> or winter? Summer. White bread or brown bread? Brown bread. Really? Brown bread. Crust health. Crust up. Health. Is that a health? Crust. Crust Ooh. one. One pillow or two pillows? Two. Got to be. Starter or dessert? Starter. Starter. Yeah, same. Savory. Nice. Pineapple on pizza? Yes or no? Nope. Nah. Never even. Been nice here. you. Nice you. So sweet or savory? Savory. And who is the most famous person that follows you or that you have in the, your phone book? Uh, probably say Frank Lampard. No. Oh Frank. yeah, not nice. bad at all. Not bad at all. <laughs> not bad. Billy, night in or night out? Night out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Pool or sea? Sea. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, restaurant or takeaway? Restaurant. Had to be, had to be. Early morning or late night? Early morning. Okay, okay. Strictly come dancing or I'm a celeb? I'm a celeb. Yeah, Good gotta you. be. Text or call? Call. And this is a big one. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Haggis and mash or fish and chips? Haggis and mash. Yeah. Had to be, <laughs> had to got be. To be. <laughs> got to be. Okay guys, so we put out a poll uh, out there and we would like to thank you so much for sending so many questions for Billy. Uh, there was honestly hundreds to go through, so we've just picked the best ones. Um, so, here we have it, fan question time. Bash, you're so, up first. Starting things off, Billy, we've got a question from Shadil Sheikh that says, Describe Thomas Tuchel in three words. In three words, winner. Demanding. Helpful. Yeah. Helpful. Very complimentary yeah, as well. Definitely a winner. Definitely a winner. Okay, so we have a, uh, a question here from St underscore how six. What's your goal celebration, Billy? Do you have one? I don't know if score many goals, do I? So <laughs> if I was to score, I'd probably knee slide or a low jump in the air. It's classic, nice. Just nice. Basic. Yeah, nice, yeah. nice. No, yeah, fair. Hopefully this weekend. Hopefully, hopefully that's hopefully this weekend. Hopefully this weekend, this weekend. Okay, we've got one from Neil Davis 78 that says, Do you have any pre match superstitions or rituals? And good luck at Norwich. Thank you for the good luck wish. Um, for me, I've got one. I, on my shin guards, I've got a picture of family. Okay. So before I go on the pitch, I'll give it a kiss and then take two hops. Nice. And I don't know how that started, but now it's just. <laughs> I have to do it. Your thing, yeah. It. It's a thing. So do you run on doing one and think, no, 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 go back, go back, go back. It's got to be two. <laughs> yeah, I've just always done that. Two hops after I've kissed the blow, kissed my shin guard. Uh, it's just something that gets me ready for the game, I guess. Nice. Fair play, fair play. Okay, next question here is actually from Jordan underscore Hugo. Oh. <laughs> How can I be more like you at golf, he says. <laughs> <laughs> there must be a story here. So um, when I first came here, we went on a golf day. Me and Jordan, Adam Ida and Angus Gunn all played and I, I was okay, I was rusty, I was definitely rusty but Jordan is top at golf. Is he you know, really? He's really good at golf. Fair. He can honestly ping the ball and he won that day. And comfortably. Enough, yeah, comfortably. Wow. Me and Adam were just basically mucking around. We were yeah, dropping yeah. balls, kid on the middle. <laughs> it's nah, good social. He's, he's good. Oh nice, nice, nice. Okay, we have one from JRB underscore 1997. Do you think Rangers have what it takes to retain the Scottish Premiership title? I hope so. I mean, the start of the season so far, uh, we're doing well, but I think we can improve. We can score a lot more goals and see how games comfortably. But I'm hoping they can go and win the league again. Yeah. Do you get a lot of time to keep up with the. Yeah, I, I try and watch as many games as possible, of course, with my games before the match I'll try and watch it on my phone sure. and of course Kenny McLean is a massive Rangers fan as well so we both try and watch that before games. Okay so this one is from Jake.Ratzlaff okay and it says who would you rather live with 
Mount or Chilwell? <laughs> oh, that's difficult. See to be fair. Neither. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably, probably Chile. Uh, I, I go down to his uh, most of the time, so I'd probably say Chile. You're closer to him. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm close with both of them. Both good, uh, good mates, but uh, Chile. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair. 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 Uh, we've got a question from Stuart H88 that says, "How did it feel pulling on the Scotland jersey at a major tournament?" It was one of my dreams to represent country at a major tournament. Um, to do that was there was no better feeling. I had my family and friends there, uh, and then the result against England was top for us. Sure. We, it was a good a good game for everyone to watch. Of course, England wanted to win and. We wanted to win also, and I think the draw was a fair result. So no, it was an incredible feeling, and it was, I'll remember for the rest of my life. Yeah, oh, amazing. Had a cracker of a game as well. It's absolutely did. Okay, uh, Harry underscore CFC underscore O seven says, where do you keep your Champions League medal? My mum keeps it. Oh nice. Uh, nice. I, my mum looks after my all my trophies and medals. She will look after. She's got her own little place for that at home. Oh, amazing. Nice, nice, nice. We've got one from Adit Ye that says, what's your favourite series on Netflix at the moment? Right now, it's Outer Banks. Outer Banks, okay. Oh, haven't heard of it. Heard of it. What is it about? So, it's, it's Pogues and very good start for me. Can't remember all the <laughs> Rich and poor. Okay, and okay. are on an island and it's like young, young boys, young girls and they're trying to find this gold. Uh, from so many years, people try to do it their own ships and all that. Okay, okay. Worth well, a watch, yeah. Okay, yeah. We'll give it a watch. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Nice. Okay, next up, we have a question from Jolie Curley. If you were stuck on a desert island, topical, what three items would you take? Football. Keep me busy. <laughs> yeah, solid. Keep it up, ease. Um, probably an umbrella for shade. Oh. Smart. And then strawberry laces. I love strawberry laces. <laughs> strawberry laces, yeah, fair yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Okay, Billy, final question from J8 Ghost. It says, who would win at two touch between you and Todd Cantwell? Ooh. Me and Toddy. I've played a little game. Okay, okay. But I think it's even. We need to do it again and we'll come back to you with the score. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I could no. be a post on <laughs> Billy, I'm, I'm, I'm not taking this. Who do you think? Are you backing Who do yourself? I think? I'll back myself. No, nice, you've got to back yourself. Heard it here first. You've got, you got to back yourself. You've got to back yourself. Okay, guys, so now it's time. We've got some more in depth questions to really get to know Billy. Okay, Billy, first question. You got man of the match um, in your first FA Cup appearance, Premier League appearance, Champions League and Euros appearance. What is it about making your debut that brings out the best in you? You need to make a good first impression. I think it's the same in life. So just while going to the pitch, do my best for the team and win and put on a good performance. Yeah, and that pressure, do you sort of thrive off that? So I can imagine it can be quite a fine line of being like intimidated or relishing in it. Yeah, you, it goes one way or the other. Sure. You could be a bit nervous, but at the same time it's good for you. And the pressure, I don't mind. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of pressure on you, pumps up the game, makes you ready, so no. That's it. Yeah, you certainly seem to thrive off it anyway. Billy, what's the call-up process like to represent your country? Is it like a group chat, telephone call, face-to-face? -face? So, first time I ever got called up was a text message. Okay. But I never had the number saved. <laughs> so. Of course, I didn't know who it was. No. It was just basically, congratulations, you've been called up to Scotland uh, season. No. You think like someone that. was? Do you think someone was mocking so, it? Of course, when I get it before that, uh, it like, came out. I'm thinking, I'm not sure about this. So I phoned my agent and I've asked, "Look, do you have you heard anything?" And he's like, "Did you get a text?" I said, "Yeah." He says, "Right, this is who texted you." And I was like, well, "Okay." He replied to me, "Says good to know." I was like, "I thought I was kidding on." No way. Now it's an uh, email. Get emails. Ah, oh, okay. And then okay. of course, social media, you see it in that. So, there's lots of different ways. Yeah, that, that must be mad seeing that text. Hand. By the way, just for reference, that is my chair. That is not me. Well, I don't know, mate. I know your stomach. Okay, what stadium have you not played in yet, but you'd love to, and why? In England, Old Trafford. Nice. Just so many 
top player they've played yeah. there. Yeah. Iconic. Especially Ronaldo being back at United to play against him. Sure. That would be a that would be a good day. It'd be nice to bury one and give it a shh. Okay, um, Billy, what is the most memorable team talk you've had, good or bad? The most memorable would be before the Champions League final in the physio, Bill Blood. Okay. I've seen him, like, he used, yeah. yeah, yeah. used to do loads of jokes and stuff. And he just got all the, like, the boys were like, laughing because of how good it was. So he just settles you right down? You right so none of this inspiration. Oh, it was inspirational. So it, was it, was jo it was jokey or was it serious? A bit of both, okay. where he's like, that is mental. Come on, lads, like, I've been to two Champions League finals. Uh, I'm lucky to win one. This is your time to shine. This is what you have to do tonight. Go out and win. And then he's like, who are we? And we're like, Chelsea. And he says, loud, aren't they? Basically. Right just away. so loud. And everyone's like, clapping. That is mad. And that's what just settled in else. Yeah. So, like, that is mental. It was amazing. Fair. Okay, we can see you've got a large social media following. Do you read the opinions of others after the game? I used to when I was a lot, like, a lot younger, uh, but then it just, it's not good. Yeah. Like, yeah. You get good days and you get bad days, sure. no point making the good stuff, so I just totally leave it all together now. Yeah. Uh, of course I'll see some stuff when scrolling through social media anyway, but um, nah, I don't, I don't read it now. Fair. Fair enough. So Billy, I know you're into your FIFA, FIFA 2022 is out. What attribute is the most underrated on your FIFA card? <laughs> I, take it you're, I take it you're fully aware of your card by now as yeah, well. Yeah. yeah. 72 to 80. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think my best is dribbling. Okay. But I think it mine should be passing. I agree. I'm not, like, I don't mind dribbling, like, I need that FIFA fair enough, but I'd say it's passing. For you, you feel that that's the most yeah, yeah. underrated yeah. attribute? Yeah, yeah I, I think that's right. Fair enough. Next fair season, enough. mate, next season. What's one thing you could change about modern game? Modern game? Ooh. I want to but at the same time, it works for you. Of course, it yeah. For and against. Um, I think Tony said something. I don't know. Mm. Maybe like the offside one, maybe for like some games you just say no offside, it's just... Oh, interesting, okay. That'd, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? Be, there'd be a lot of goals. A lot of goal no, hangers. At all, Ma pure goal hang. Imagine just like one of the games, like maybe a cup competition, and say like there's no offside, it's just a referee. No just, way. There'd be so much space, so many goals. So. Should we send it into the Carabao and see if they want to <laughs> yeah, take that. it on? Yeah, I love that. Could try. <laughs> okay, buddy, if you weren't a professional footballer, what do you reckon you'd be and why? I think I'd probably work with my granddad or my dad, uh, be a painter with my granddad. Okay. Um, but I've always said I'd like to be a coach. I love, I love football, even if I never got the opportunity to play. Uh, Professionally, mm -hmm. I think I'd still do something in football, be a coach, yeah, so nice. Similar, similar to that. Nice. What's one piece of advice you would give to your younger self? Enjoy it more. Yeah. Uh, I always played serious. I would always be just all the time wanting to do the best, of course, yeah. but I never smiled a lot. I wasn't okay. until after the girls like, oh, I was good, enjoy it. Sure. But I'd say enjoy it more, play with a smile on the face. Yeah. And do you, do you find it tricky to sort of enjoy a game? Because as soon as the final whistle goes, it's like, okay, let's look forward to the next game. It's hard to like... Yeah, I think when when the whistle goes, I'm fully focused on the game. Of course, I'm not going to be smiling. I want to be yeah. focused, ready. And when after it, if we win, then I'll, I'll be watching the game back, analysing sure. it. And then I'll be like, oh, that was good. What have we done there? Or if it's bad, I'll still watch it back and see yeah. what should we have done better. So mm. when you get older, it's not more than enjoying it. Like, that's what you have to do. So much emphasis on winning, yeah. When I was younger, I had to enjoy it more. Okay, of course. Nice, okay. So on that then, what has been the biggest challenge in your career so far? Biggest challenge in my career so far was my injury. Okay. I've never, never really had any injuries at all when this was my first injury and it was long term. Okay. Got an operation in my knee. Okay. Uh, I've done it during lockdown. Game against Crystal Palace, done it in the first half. And I played through it. I honestly thought it was just a knock. Oh wow. dear. The adrenaline going through. I don't feel it. I woke up the next morning, my knee was massive. Oh. I had to go for an operation in London, so that set me set me back. Mm. At the same time I could focus on other stuff like getting in the gym more. Mm. So it was okay. it was good but bad because I want to play football, but that's been the most difficult so far. Did it affect you mentally much? Uh, first week massively it did. Um, just 
I had crutches and mm. I tried to stand up just to go to the toilet and thinking, geez, I need to use the crutches. I couldn't walk into the kitchen and get a drink. Yeah. So it was a lot. I had to get my mum and my little brother to do a lot of that and my dad. So it was, it was a tough, awful time. Tough, yeah. all round tough. No, of course. Um, obviously, you've moved clubs a few times, Rangers to Chelsea, and now you're here at Norwich on loan. How would you find um, that sort of process of getting to new, know your new surroundings, a new club? Like, how's the transition? I enjoy it. Yeah. I really do. Um, the boys at Norwich have welcomed me so well. Uh, and I knew Grant and Kenny before. Okay, of course. Just from Scotland. So when coming to Norwich, it's been really good. I'm enjoying it. Of course, we want the results to change. We want to win games and do well in the league. Um, and that will come. Yeah. But we are working hard on the training field, doing well. And then with Chelsea, moving there when I was young, it was difficult. First couple of weeks, of getting new surroundings, living with a big family. Uh, so that's that's something that I've never experienced before. Okay. And now that I'm a bit more mature and yeah. older. Uh, and when you moved to Chelsea, it. is it just yourself that goes or did your family come with you? No, I, I moved when I was 16, moved myself at the Dice. Okay. And I moved in with another boy in the okay. team. So that we both moved at the same time. So we both bounced off each other. Nice. So together. That helps. That helps. Big move <clears> in the 16 though. Huge, yeah. Tough. So who's the biggest change from Joker that you've come across or played with? Joker, eh, uh, Scott, John McGinn is one, he's, yeah. he's funny, <laughs> can I imagine it, uh, and Norwich, I think I know who you're going to say, there's a few, mm. there's a few, like John Hugo, of course he's on loan now, he was one of them, uh, Kenny's always, I knew you were going to say Kenny, social media, <laughs> every picture he's always saying something, um, but no, they, they two are the standouts for me, fair, nice, and you've had a great career so far. What do you value as your biggest achievement? My biggest achievement so far would definitely be making my debut for Scotland yep. at Euros. Um, of course, Champions League is up there as well, but there's still time I want sure. to try and get back there and play. Yeah, of course. Uh, to win Champions League. Dream come true, represent my country and at the age of 20. Yeah. The dream come true, so it's all came so fast. And but for me, playing at Wembley against England as well, which has been so special. Yeah, it's huge. But you seem to be taking it in your stride. So, Billy, as a data-driven game, have you set yourself any targets for this season in terms of goals, assists? I mean, how how do you? I always set targets. Uh, I'll, I'll speak speak about them with my dad, and me and my little brother have got like goal competition, assist competition. Nice, nice. Stuff on the side, but for me, it was come here to Norwich get as much game time as possible, sure. try and score my first Premier League goal, or uh, professional goal, yep. and, and to stay in the league with Norwich, uh, that's, that's the main aim. All of it. Thanks ever so much for your time, Billy. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you on board, mate. Um, real pleasure. Yeah, obviously, thanks so much for time. Matt, really appreciate Thank it. you guys, I've enjoyed that. Good, good, good. Well played, well good played. Good luck this weekend. I actually got, you're, you're actually netting this weekend. I think you will. It's yeah. The volleys, I, think. I think you will. <laughs> I can see it in the volley. She will, mate. 100%, you're netting. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Lovely. Brilliant. Done. Thank you for watching the video, yeah. guys. We really hope you enjoyed it and what a top guy Billy is. Make sure you check out our previous video where we buy and rank every single Premier League third shirt. And also, so many of you viewers aren't subscribed to our YouTube channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button because we've got some top videos coming very soon.